I am Coke LaRock, and you're watching the B-Shine. And I'm here being interviewed at Katona Park. This is the birthplace of hip-hop. I am the first MC of hip-hop. And before me, I'm the first G-Money man. I kept a G better any type of weather, cold or hot, rain or not. And I am. Just gave you the serious of the serioso joint skis. I'm the 210 Hot Times Cannabis Cup Culture Accord winner. From 210 on down, I stay in Amsterdam. If your cannabis come see me. I'm not going to be funny, you know, but see, my thing is like, I started cannabis. <laughs> I started getting in the game, cannabis, selling nickel bags. No disrespect to the game of drugs or how it go. We know that this is how it is now. You know, it's not the right way to go, but that's how it started. I was selling nickel bags, half an ounce, quarter pounds, and we go with partying, you know? And it first brought G-Money. I was the first G-Money man, kept a G or better, any type of weather, cold or hot rain or not. I am hip-hop. You can hear I'm 59, and I'm still talking like I was still there. Plus, I put the first echo in the chamber. I'm the one that made it go rock, rock, rock. That came like just calling out brothers' names. Like you had cats they called Easy Al, Skip from the Joint, Cocaine Smitty, Norm Rockwell, Charlie Rock, El Dorado, Mike Mike, Cool DJ Hurt, Coke LaRock, Butchie LaRock, Ace LaRock, T LaRock, K LaRock. Anybody with LaRock is from coming from me. I am the founder of, of LaRock. I am Coke LaRock. My son's middle name is LaRock. His name is Dante LaRock. The Pacific moment to me was the greatest day when Cool Herc battled Pete DJ Jones. Cool DJ Herc put on a mask, and that's when I looked at him and said, yo, you really this? He put on a Bootsy mask, and he played you in the right place at the wrong time. And that's when I knew we was before our time. I'm part of what, what the Funk Brothers is to Motown. I started this, but I don't got no, you, I'm not rich. I'm getting on the bus. I got a Metro card. Why is these guys billionaires and Coke LaRock is in the park? rapping on here, and I, I, I'm, I'm getting on the bus. Well, like I said, I called out people's names. We, we made cheers before cheers. You know how they call out the names when the people come in? That's what I did in the club. When you came in the club and you was on your status, when you was at the top of your game and you had fame, Coke LaRock called your name. And that's what held up everybody. That's why you see when you come in, everybody's like, this person's in the house, that person's in the house. Because that's what it was about. It was about calling out names, giving guys their little street, street leverage of who they was. Because I was a his hustler, a hustler's hustler. That's where bigger hustlers go. I got the greatest hype when my friends that I grew up with be like, yo, Coke, you rocking them tonight. Or you did yesterday, you tore the party up, you know? And like I said, I don't have a DJ mentality. I have a hustler's mentality. To me, it was all about the money. And it wasn't nothing funny. But, you know, that's how it went. I'm Coke LaRock, and they almost tried to erase me from hip-hop. If in 210, if High Times Magazine didn't grab me, my man Steve Hager, peace to High Times, Steve Hager, Amsterdam. Steve Hager came and gave me the Cannabis Culture Cup Award. And like I told him at one time, I thought they was trying to forget about Coke LaRock, but you can't forget about people when they take your name. You have all the rocks around here. Like I said again, T LaRock, K LaRock, Ace LaRock, Scott LaRock, Butchie LaRock, you got LaRocks, and they still LaRocks, R.C. LaRock. And I am Coke LaRock. I am the patent and everybody else is the product. I'm really proud because last year I had my grandson on stage doing summer stage. So now for the rest of his life and everybody else's life, he can look at and see his grandpa. He was on stage with his grandpa. And that, that was my greatest thing. I, I, I need no more out of this because I passed it on to my grandson. And now he'd be like, Grandpa, I want to go on stage with you. I'm a dance and I'm a sing. And I love that. That was it. That, that, that was the ultimate for me with this hip hop thing here, man. It's already here. I put the first brick in the yellow brick road and other cats took it to the land of ours. The same way you started making, we was making $50, then it already went to a million dollars, $100,000. So look where the game went. It's, a, it's phenomenal. It's all around the world. I thank y'all for recognizing Coke LaRock, the one and only. And I will always be in Katona Park. This is birthplace of hip hop. I fell in that lake. I'm going to tell the truth. I fell in that dirty lake when I was seven. I'm 59, and I still talk hip-hop, as you see. I am that cat, Coke LaRock. Thank y'all for recognizing Coke LaRock.